Hello YouTube. Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel Share Knowledge Video Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix boot track space for all slash fix boot access is denied problem in Windows 10 or 11. One way to fix such errors is to run the command boot track space for all slash fix boot. However, according to the feedback of some users, Windows 10 older version is most likely to face fix boot access is denied error. To fix the error access is denied, the following two methods you should be tried. That is what we are going to do, so watch the video and subscribe channel. Okay, let's start. First of all, you need to launch command prompt as an administrator from advanced startup options. You have three ways for this. Firstly, restart your PC or laptop, then quickly press escape key with restart. It will show you a list of options associated with the different keys. Then press F11 key to access the advanced system recovery options. Secondly, if you can access the sign-in screen of Windows, then on the sign-in screen, click on the power icon. Hold down the shift key when you click on the power button in the bottom right corner of the Windows login screen and while holding the key till select restart option. This will open advanced system recovery options. Okay. Third one, if you have bootable flash drive or DVD, insert on your PC and then press enter to run the boot disk. Then you will see the installation window. Then click on next button. Here you will see the link repair your computer. Click on it. It will open advanced system recovery options. Okay, let's start. Method number one, recreate the EFI directory structure and reconfigure the boot file using bcd boot command. In the advanced startup options, select the troubleshoot option and then choose advanced options. In the advanced options, choose command prompt. Then you will be asked to select your account and then verify your account using your password. If you don't have password, click on continue. When you see that command prompt has opened on your computer, type these commands. Type the command disk part and hit enter. Then type the command list disk and hit enter. Then select disk 0. You select hard disk where 0 stands for the boot drive, type select disk 0 and hit enter. Then type the command list to wall and hit enter. This will display the volumes of all attached disk on your PC. Now here you need to select the volume which your system reserved recovery EFI partition. EFI means it means extensible firmware interface. Okay. Volume number 1 is the Windows installed drive. Volume number 2 is the system reserved recovery drive. Then select your volume. In my case, volume 2 is the system reserved EFI partition. Type the command select volume 2 and hit enter. Now you need to assign a new drive letter to the EFI partition. Type the command assign space letter is equal to V column and hit enter. Then you should see disk part assign the drive letter successfully. Then type exit and press enter to exit the disk part. After that type the command V column and hit enter. Now you need to create the EFI directory structure with the command. Type the command md space backslash EFI backslash Microsoft backslash boot backslash and hit enter. Then change to the boot directory. Type the command cd space forward slash d space v column backslash EFI backslash Microsoft backslash boot backslash and hit enter. Then type the command boot rec space for slash fix boot and hit enter. Then you should see operation completed successfully. After that type the command bcd boot space c column backslash windows space for slash l space en dash us space for slash s space v column space for slash f space all and hit enter. This command will repair your bootloader. Then you should see boot files successfully created. 
operation completed successfully then type exit and hit enter to close command prompt then return to the troubleshooting window click on continue to normally boot into windows 10 without getting any errors it will reboot your operating system okay now check if this helps or not method number two fix your startup problem with bootrec commands in the advanced startup option select the troubleshoot option and then choose advanced options in the advanced options choose command prompt then you will be asked to select your account and then verify your account using your password if you don't have password click on continue when you see that command prompt has opened on your computer then type this bootrec commands to do that type the command bootrec space forward slash fix mbr and hit enter then you should see operation completed successfully then type bootrec space forward slash fix boot and hit enter then you will see operation completed successfully if you have message fix boot access is denied then type boot sect space forward slash nt60 space sys and hit enter then you should see boot code was successfully updated all targeted volumes then again type bootrec space forward slash fix boot and hit enter then you should see operation completed successfully type bcd edit space forward slash export space c column backslash bcd backup and hit enter then you should see operation completed successfully then type attrib space c column backslash boot backslash bcd space hyphen h space hyphen r space hyphen s and hit enter then type run r a n space c column backslash boot backslash bcd space bcd dot old and hit enter then type bootrec space forward slash rebuild bcd and hit enter this will scans all disks for installations that are compatible with windows additionally it lets you select the installations that you want to add to the bcd store total identified windows installations one d column backslash windows here asking add installations to boot list type yes why then you should see operation completed successfully by doing this you make sure that the bcd store is completely rebuilt type exit and hit enter to close command prompt then return to the troubleshooting window click on continue to normally boot into windows without getting any errors it will reboot your operating system okay i hope this video helped for you thanks for watching and supporting if you have any issues so please let me know in the comment section below your contribution is more confidence please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more useful videos once again thanks for watching and supporting see you next video bye take care